The human respiratory system is a marvel of biological engineering, designed to facilitate the critical exchange of gases that sustain life. At the heart of this system are the lungs, which in a healthy individual are pink, soft, and spongy. These healthy lungs are characterized by a vast network of airways and blood vessels that work efficiently to exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide. The alveoli, tiny air sacs where this gas exchange occurs, are plentiful and functional, ensuring that oxygen reaches the bloodstream and carbon dioxide is expelled effectively. Additionally, the lung's mucociliary clearance system operates robustly, meaning the cilia, tiny hair-like structures lining the airways, constantly move mucus and trapped particles out, keeping the respiratory pathways clear and significantly reducing the risk of infections. In stark contrast, the lungs of a smoker tell a very different story. So, keep watching to learn about the effects of smoking on your lungs and respiratory system. The impact of smoking on the respiratory system is profound and multifaceted, leading to significant visual and functional changes in the lungs. One of the most noticeable differences is the coloration. Healthy lungs are a pinkish color due to their rich blood supply and healthy tissue but smokers' lungs often appear blackened and mottled. This discoloration is caused by the accumulation of tar and other toxic substances found in cigarette smoke. Over time, the once pink and vibrant tissue becomes gray or black, a clear indication of the damage being inflicted. Beyond the visual differences, the elasticity of the lung tissue is also compromised in smokers. Healthy lung tissue is naturally elastic, allowing the lungs to expand and contract with ease during breathing. However, smoking leads to a loss of this elasticity, making the lungs stiffer and less capable of expanding fully. This reduced elasticity is due to the destruction of elastin, a protein that helps maintain the flexibility of lung tissue. As a result, the effort required to breathe increases and the efficiency of the lungs in facilitating gas exchange diminishes. Another critical aspect of lung health affected by smoking is the mucociliary clearance system. In healthy lungs, the cilia work tirelessly to keep the airways clear of mucus and debris. However, smoking damages these cilia, impairing their ability to function properly. This damage leads to a buildup of mucus in the airways, which can cause chronic bronchitis. Chronic bronchitis is characterized by the persistent inflammation of the bronchial tubes, leading to a constant production of excess mucus. This condition manifests as a chronic cough and difficulty breathing symptoms that are all too common among smokers. Furthermore, the damage caused by smoking extends to the alveoli, the tiny air sacs where oxygen and carbon dioxide are exchanged. In healthy lungs, the alveoli are numerous and function efficiently to ensure adequate gas exchange. However, smoking can lead to the destruction of these alveoli, resulting in a condition known as emphysema. Emphysema involves the breakdown of the walls of the alveoli, creating larger but fewer air sacs. These enlarged air sacs do not function as effectively as the numerous smaller ones, leading to significant impairments in oxygen and carbon dioxide exchange. Consequently, individuals with emphysema experience shortness of breath and a decreased ability to oxygenate their blood. As the destructive effects of smoking continue to manifest, the difference between smokers' lungs and healthy lungs becomes even more pronounced. One of the most severe conditions linked to smoking is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. COPD is an umbrella term that includes chronic bronchitis and emphysema, both of which are prevalent among smokers. This progressive disease makes breathing increasingly difficult over time and significantly impacts the quality of life. In individuals with COPD, the airways and air sacs lose their shape and become floppy, similar to a deflated balloon. The airways become narrowed and obstructed, causing airflow limitation that makes it difficult to expel air from the lungs. This leads to air being trapped in the lungs and less room is available for fresh, oxygen-rich air. As a result, people with COPD often feel short of breath, especially during physical activity. They may also experience chronic coughing and frequent respiratory infections due to the impaired clearance of mucus from the airways. The process of air trapping and the subsequent reduction in airflow is largely due to the inflammation and thickening of the bronchial walls, along with the excessive production of mucus. In a healthy lung, the airways are clear and the airflow is smooth, allowing for efficient breathing. However, in smokers' lungs affected by COPD, the constant irritation from cigarette smoke leads to chronic inflammation. 
This inflammation causes the walls of the airways to thicken and narrows the passageways, significantly hindering airflow. Moreover, the damaged cilia cannot move mucus effectively, resulting in mucus buildup that further blocks the airways and creates a breeding ground for bacteria leading to frequent infections. COPD also brings about significant changes at the microscopic level. The alveoli, which are critical for gas exchange, are heavily impacted. In healthy lungs, the alveoli are small and numerous, providing a large surface area for oxygen to diffuse into the blood and carbon dioxide to be expelled. Smoking damages these delicate structures, causing them to merge and form larger but fewer air sacs. This change dramatically reduces the surface area available for gas exchange, leading to less efficient oxygenation of the blood and removal of carbon dioxide. The body then compensates by increasing the breathing rate, which can lead to a constant feeling of breathlessness and fatigue. Moreover, COPD is often accompanied by systemic effects as the chronic low oxygen levels can affect other organs. For example, the heart has to work harder to pump blood through the lungs, which can lead to heart complications such as right-sided heart failure, also known as choropulmonale. This condition occurs because the heart has to pump against increased resistance in the lungs, which are stiff and less compliant due to the damage caused by smoking. The impact of smoking extends beyond just physical symptoms. The chronic nature of COPD and the associated limitations on daily activities can lead to significant psychological effects, including anxiety and depression. Individuals with COPD may experience a reduced ability to participate in social activities and hobbies, leading to social isolation and a decline in overall quality of life. The constant battle for breath and the knowledge that the condition is progressive and largely irreversible can be psychologically taxing, compounding the physical burden of the disease. The detrimental effects of smoking on lung health culminate in an increased risk of lung cancer, which is one of the most severe consequences of long-term smoking. Lung cancer is a malignant tumor that originates in the tissues of the lungs, typically in the cells lining the air passages. The carcinogens in cigarette smoke can cause mutations in the DNA of lung cells, leading to uncontrolled cell growth and the formation of tumors. Smokers are significantly more likely to develop lung cancer compared to non-smokers, with studies indicating that up to 90% of lung cancer cases are attributable to smoking. In healthy lungs, cells grow, divide, and die in a regulated manner, maintaining the integrity and function of the lung tissue. However, in smokers' lungs, repeated exposure to carcinogens disrupts this balance. The DNA damage induced by smoking leads to the activation of oncogenes, which promotes cell proliferation and the inactivation of tumor suppressor genes, which normally inhibit cell growth and promote cell death. This dysregulation results in the uncontrolled growth of abnormal cells forming malignant tumors. These tumors can obstruct airways, invade surrounding tissues and spread to other parts of the body, making lung cancer a particularly aggressive and deadly disease. The symptoms of lung cancer can often develop late in the disease, contributing to its high mortality rate. Early-stage lung cancer might not cause noticeable symptoms, allowing the cancer to progress unnoticed. When symptoms do appear, they may include a persistent cough, chest pain, shortness of breath, hoarseness, and recurrent respiratory infections. These symptoms can be easily mistaken for other smoking-related conditions like chronic bronchitis or COPD, which further delays diagnosis. Advanced lung cancer can lead to more severe symptoms such as coughing up blood, severe weight loss, and bone pain, indicating that the cancer has spread beyond the lungs. The prognosis for lung cancer is generally poor, especially if it is diagnosed at an advanced stage. Treatment options may include surgery, chemotherapy, radiation therapy, targeted therapy, and immunotherapy. But the effectiveness of these treatments is often limited by the advanced stage at which lung cancer is typically diagnosed in smokers. The five-year survival rate for lung cancer remains low, underscoring the critical importance of early detection and prevention. Preventing the development of lung cancer and other smoking-related diseases hinges on smoking cessation. Quitting smoking can halt the progression of lung damage and significantly reduce the risk of developing lung cancer. For individuals who have already developed smoking-related lung conditions, quitting can improve symptoms, enhance the effectiveness of treatments, and improve overall quality of life. The benefits of quitting smoking extend beyond lung health, 
positively impacting cardiovascular health, reducing the risk of other cancers, and improving overall well-being. But as previously mentioned, the stark differences between smokers' lungs and healthy lungs illustrate the profound impact of smoking on respiratory health. Healthy lungs are characterized by their pink, spongy tissue, efficient gas exchange, and robust clearance of mucus and debris. In contrast, smokers' lungs are damaged by the accumulation of tar and toxins, leading to blackened, stiff tissue, impaired airflow, and a host of chronic conditions such as COPD and lung cancer. The functional impairments caused by smoking not only reduce the quality of life, but also increase the risk of severe life-threatening diseases. Smoking cessation is crucial for preserving lung health and preventing the myriad of complications associated with smoking. This underscores the importance of public health efforts to reduce smoking rates and support individuals in their journey to quit smoking for a healthier smoke-free future. If you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Thank you so much for watching, have a blessed day, and as always, breathe easy, my friend.